people of the universe. It's Jelly Bean. I'm back. I'm doing something a little different because I've noticed I've been sharing the shit show by people and a lot of people have been asking me how come I, they can't get it to work and I can get it to work. This is basically my first kind of tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help those people out that are using Mod Organizer. I'm not sure how it works in Vortex, but I'm showing it through Mod Organizer. Now, the first thing that you're going to need, if you're going to do any EMS, ESMs or any of those that have the EMAT extension, is you're going to need this plugin text enabler. Now, just go to the files, manually download it, whatever one you have, if you have Game Pass or if you have the script extender. I have the script extender. So, what the best thing to do is manually download it. Now, the reason why I say manually download it is I'm going to open it up here. What you're going to need, I can move this over here. What you're going to need is this right here. So then what you do after you get that open, open it up wherever you have um, your Starfield in, in, um, installed. I have it on my D drive. So I would go to D drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Starfield, and then I'd hit data. Once you get into the data here, make a new folder and title it F S F S E. Once that's done, open that up, make another folder and call it plugins. Once that's done, take this here, copy it. Once you copy it, go back over here and install it. Now, once that's installed, go and make a new folder and call it. Well, I'm going to show you real quick. So, oops, get rid of that. So, we're going to delete that. Go over here, go to new, but you're not going to make a new folder. What you're going to do is you're going to make a new text document. In that text document, you're going to type in plugins. Oh, forgot the S. And you're going to save it. Now, what this document does is on all the web pages, you're going to notice that near the bottom when they explain um, ESMs, that you have to copy that and put it into here. Now, I'm going to delete this real quick. Yes, I want to delete that. No, I don't want to make a second one. I want to delete it. <laughs> so then you open it up. Once you open it up, and as you can see here, I'll move mine over here. These are all the mods that have an ESM that I have installed. So it, it's very simple. Now we'll go back over here, and I'm going to back up one page. Now this is the mod I've been using for all of my shipbuilding. Now he does, he keeps it quite up to date. He's always adding new stuff. But in this case, this is where that little uh, text plugins text document is going to come in handy. So, because what you're going to notice, you're going to go through the instructions. Please read the instructions. I cannot emphasize it. I was bad for not reading the instructions. But just go through it, and it says right here that that is required. Now, you're going to have to look for it. If you cannot find it, what I suggest to do, this is what I suggest to do if you can't find it. Sometimes they don't put it here. Sometimes they do. It's, it's kind of hit or miss. But if they do not put it in here, just simply go up. Like, first you download it like you normally would. But I suggest if you can't find it in the instructions for the ESM, Go to manual, download it manually, open it up, and so once you got it open, go to data, and then see this right here at the bottom, this ESM? Hit that, hit copy, go back here where you are putting all your ESMs, 
And as you notice, I've already put it in here. So what you're going to do, and this is what's going to happen, is when you put it in, you're going to have this data disk. So what you're going to want to do is, oh, wait a sec, is you're going to want to delete that data right there. You're going to delete that. And then I'm going to delete this because what you're going to do is you're going to put it in there. You're going to delete all this. What you got to do and positively make sure is use your shift key and your number eight button, and that'll give you the little star. Make sure that is in there. Once you have that all in there, simply hit save and it's saved. Now, once you've gotten all that done, go back to your mod organizer too. Oh, I got a lot of windows open. Go back to your mod organizer too. Go to your plugins and then search here and make sure that it is highlighted. That is basically how you can get your ESMs to work. I know it's a lot of work, but it pays off in the end. And you'll have all these mods working. I hope this video has helped. I know I'm kind of a little new at these text textorials, but I'm just glad I could help, and I hope I've helped. If you have any suggestions on how I could have done this a little bit better, don't forget to leave it in the comments. But if this video has helped, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, move your mouse a little to the right, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to beat you. I'm Jelly Bean, and thank you so very much for watching.